Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, July 9th. Today would have been my mother-in-law's 95th birthday, if she would have been alive. 95, wow. Was there 95? Yep, 95. She was born in 1925. Um, she's, been past, she's been gone since 2005. But um, no other birthdays. So, um, I thought I'd do it in the house because everybody says they can't hear me when I'm outside, although I'd love to be outside, but it is very hot. It's very hot and muggy. We're on a uh, heat index watch or whatever. Uh, yesterday, we did get rain, which was nice because uh, it saved me from having to water my flowers and my grass is starting to turn brown. And so uh, we would water it every other day because we have water restrictions in Michigan. You can only water your lawn on even day. Well, according to your uh, address, so ours is an even day. But um, <clears throat> I went for my scan this morning and uh, for my thyroid scan. What I do like about the, you know, you always got to look for the, I told you, I always look for the good in something. So the good of this pandemic, I had to, you know, sometimes you got to really look really hard. But the good in this is they no longer can double book appointments because they can't have that many people in the waiting room. So, and they want you all to sit six feet apart. My appointment was at 11 o'clock. They told me to be there by 11 or 10.45. I got there around 10.45. I filled out my paperwork. At 11 o'clock, I was on the table doing my test. And at 11.25, I was in my car coming home. <laughs> now, you know, in the past, that would not have happened. They would have double booked. I would have been sitting there waiting until somebody else got taken care of. <clears throat> so that was the good thing. But, um... Anyway, I'm continuing this week talking about doubting yourselves because we all share that quality at some point. Maybe not every single day of our life, but I think we all have a little bit of doubts about anything in life, whether it's our diet or our money issues or health. or so, We always have some sort of a doubt. And uh, I really am really proud of myself because I think I really needed this series this week because I don't know about you, but it's really helping me out tremendously. Because um, I had um, a thought last week when I was kind of just before my anniversary when I knew I was going to have the cake. I didn't know I was going to have the pie, but I, you know, I knew I was going to have the cake. And uh, I knew my appointment was today. And two of my favorite restaurants, the Outback and Payway, which is a Chinese restaurant, um, were right by where I have to go. And it's a, probably where I have to go is about a half hour away. So I, I don't go to those restaurants very often. And unfortunately now I'm starting to eat out, which is not good. But um, so my plan for the whole week, my whole plan for the whole week was to go to either Payway and get my uh, honey seared chicken with the uh, fried rice or go to the Outback and get the order of the Monterey cheese fries that have cheese and fry, uh, bacon bits. And then you dip it in uh, ranch dressing. It's got cheese, obviously. Um, and so the whole week, I didn't have a doubt. Not a doubt that I was going to do it. I really knew I was going to do it. And I had told my sister, I said, if you need anything from the Outback, let me know. Because I think I'm going to go to the Outback. Because I, I'd rather get the cheese fries than the payway. So I'm thinking that's what I was going to do. And I really, truly believe that's what I was going to do. And so I started this series on Monday. And every day I got a little bit closer to making the decision that, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. And so last night, Denise said, um, are you going to go to the Outback tomorrow? And I said, I am leaning towards not going, but if I do go, I'll call you when I leave. And when I'm calling to make my uh, order, I'll call you and let you know if I'm going to do it. I didn't do it. I'm so proud of myself. I did not do it. I came home. And I'm planning on having my usual fruit-laden breakfast with my egg. And I'm going to have a um, light uh, multi-grain um, English muffin. So um, I'm really proud of myself. And I know that if I wouldn't have started the series this week, I, I probably would have uh, got the cheese fries. I, I, I know. Well, I know for almost, almost positive. Christy even called me and said, well, did you stay strong? And I said, yes, I did. And she said, you may not see it this week, but next week you're going to see it. And you're going to be glad that you made that decision. So I get the full support of my family. I really do. I know that. And it all comes back to what Oprah says. You know, 
you become what you believe. If I really believe that I'm not going to make it to my goal, if I really believe that I'm never going to hit 100 pounds, if I really believe that everything's going to overpower me and I have no control over my life, then it's going to happen. It's going to happen that way. I like to send out positive vibes into the universe. And so I am going to start thinking a little bit more positively. And like I told you yesterday, I'm not obsessing about the number on the scale. Um, I'm not going to weigh myself every day anymore because uh, it was helping me. It really was helping me. But then it was making me realize, you know, I'm obsessing about that number. So I'm going to go back to just weighing myself on Saturday mornings. So I'll see you on Saturday. Um, what the what the damages? Because let me tell you, there as of uh, yesterday morning, there was still some damage, and so uh, maybe on Saturday, if I have not too big of a gain, I'll tell you how much I truly gained. So it will be a loss on Saturday, but uh, not ready to throw that out into the universe yet. But probably on Saturday, I'll probably tell you. But um, I think that as soon as I stop doubting myself. That's when I made the turn into the right direction. Um, I've got my sails set for the right amount of wind to hit my sails to get me going in the right way. And uh, and I know I'm going to do it because, um, you know, what? I have what it takes. I have the, the willpower and the stamina and the knowledge and the tools and the support and encouragement that I need. And... Um, with, with all of that going in my favor, how can I go wrong? How can I really go wrong? I think now that I've really um, mastered my thoughts in somewhat of a way of not letting the scale control me, not worrying about the number on the scale, not worrying about getting to any particular number in particular, um, that I'm on my way. I really am on my way to success because I... Um, I'm tired of doubting myself. I'm just tired of doubting myself. I consider myself a strong woman. I really consider myself strong in every aspect of my life. And just the fact that I'm letting this control my life and take over my life uh, is bothersome to me because um, I'm stronger than that. I'm stronger than a silly old number on the scale. I know how I feel. Um, and, and that's all that really matters. A lot of you have mentioned that my shirts are a little big. I understand that they're big, but... You've seen me from the waist down, and I need them for like the they're they're big up here, but then as soon as they get down to my waist, they kind of rub onto hug onto my belly. So it's not so much for the top part that I need this this the uh, bigger sizes; it's for the bottom part. But I'm working on it, and I don't have a doubt that next summer I'll have all proper fitting shirts because my whole body will be like mm. no, it won't be like that. It's like my body now is like that, I guess. But it's going to be like that, I guess. So, I can only hope. I can only dream. I can only wish. I can only know. Because I know. I just know. I have no more self-doubts. But uh, I'm going to continue on tomorrow and Saturday talking about doubts. Because uh, until I weigh on Saturday, I have to uh, just to, to say it out loud. Just to hear it to myself. To know that that's what I really want to do. So, no, it's a quick, short video, but I really didn't have much. Oh, uh, David's supposed to come over this afternoon, and we're going to go to the police station to file a police report. So um, I'll keep you in the know about what's going on with that. Other than that, that's about it. So always, always, always stay safe. And uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share it if you think somebody might like to see it, and... Uh, let me know, is this helping you at all? Is there something that you'd rather I talked about differently? I can do a different subject next week. Um, I'm, o I'm open to suggestions. So any suggestions or any topics you think you'd like me to talk about or research or anything like that, because, you know, I'm always on the Internet. Um, I'm, I'm more than willing to look for it. So thank you so much for watching, and always stay safe.